each year on March the 3rd, Minister Liu Yuzhu from the National Cultural Heritage Administration will come to this hallway to answer our questions. Nice to meet you again, Minister Liu. Good afternoon. I'm with uh, Science Daily. It has become a habit for people to go to museums and parents they take their kids to museums on the weekends. But all these museums they are like one another and they are very crowded. And uh, what is your comment on this? Thank you. Thank you very much for your question. As you might know, now it's a time for museums to grow very quickly. But it's also grown with some uh, problems. On the one hand, we have enormous social demand. Over the past three years, each and every year, we are having roughly 100 million people visiting museums. And last year, the number was uh, 418 million visitors. So the number keeps growing year by year. On the other hand, museums are also growing very rapidly. Each and every year, we are adding roughly 180 museums to the total volume. By the end of 2017, according to some statistics, we have roughly 5,136 museums registered at different levels. So the incremental volume is just huge. In recent years, in particular during the Spring Festival, museums across China are very crowded. And this is well reported by a lot of media. This year's Spring Festival, according to some statistics, within seven days, we have 150 million visitors to museums. And more than 40% of them, uh, we have roughly 150 million uh, travelers during the Spring Festival. And 40% of them have been to a museum in a just finished Spring Festival. In the process of its development, we have witnessed a demand of high-end uh, culture from the public. Uh, the demand is also becoming more and more diverse. So our service at the museum is falling short in meeting this vast social demand. So we have a lot of work to do, a lot of jobs to do in the future. So this year, we will focus on the functional positionings of different museums. And in particular, we are going to fill in the gaps. We're going to focus on the most difficult points. And we're going to solve some bottleneck issues. In this year, we will work with relevant departments to jointly formulate a implement, implementing measures on promoting the sound development of museums so that we can gradually meet the demands from the public. Here on this occasion, I would also like to emphasize that museums, the uh, one very important organization representing cultural relics, and in particular, those ancient architectural uh, museums. And for those type of museums, protection is of paramount importance. And uh, in these aspects, we can never slacken our efforts in protecting the cultural relics and ancient buildings. In the meantime, museum is also a very important platform for public cultural 
education is not like a temple fair. It's not like any entertainment place out there on the market. Museum should be a place where we demonstrate the high-end culture of the society. Museum should be a high-end culture, but it should not be quite difficult to understand. Uh, it should be a positive image instead of a ordinary image or a vulgar image, like some of the entertainment places out there on the market. So we have to stick closely to this bottom line. And uh, on this occasion, I would like to thank our friends from the media for following the developments of China's museums and also for reporting our efforts. Thank you very much. We have a question from the internet. Last year, the central government has issued a guideline or a decision for protection of cultural relics. But they are wondering whether these measures can be translated into practice. Is there a feedback from, from you? Thank you. Thank you very much for our friend from the internet. Since the 18th National Congress of the Communist Party, the central government is attaching great importance to the protection of cultural relics. President Xi Jinping himself has made a lot of uh, guidelines and comments regarding the preservation and protection of cultural relics. Last year, the General Office of the Central Committee of the CPC and also the General Office of State Council have jointly issued a decision or working opinions regarding the protection of cultural relics. These two documents, the attest to the importance paid by the central government to cultural relic protection. This is the top level design and top level policy. And to translate that policy into practice, I think it's the task facing all the practitioners in the cultural relic sector. First and foremost, we need to attach great, imp great importance to this aspect. We have to mobilize energies from all sectors. We have identified 15, uh, 57 reform measures in 16 categories from the uh, working opinion. Uh, in, uh, in last October, the Culture Ministry and Tourism Ministry and other 36 top-level departments have held seminars regarding the implementation of this working opinion. And uh, we are making tremendous progress. I would like to thank relevant departments at the central level for working closely together with us. And secondly, to translate that top-level policy into practice, we have to solve the last mile issue. The success or failure or the effect of a policy hinges upon the last mile. Over the past few years, CPC committees at various levels and governments at different levels attach great importance to the development and protection of cultural relics. By the end of last year, we have already 18 government departments from various levels which have formulated implementing opinions regarding this very important working opinion. And uh, already we have uh, 25 municipality, municipalities introducing or releasing regulations and policies to implement this uh, working opinion. I think this is very important in solving the lost mile issue. I want to put one, uh, put a few additional remarks. In the institutional reform last year, 
the provincial level of cultural relic departments. They have strengthened their efforts in general, and uh, I would like to thank our decision makers at various levels. And uh, thank you very much for your understanding and support. But we have a tendency or a trend right now, and uh, at the municipal level and also at the county level, our institution is kind of weakened. So here, I would like to ask our mayors and uh, county heads to uh, step up your efforts in accordance with the realities of your localities. I would hope to, I would like to see more support from the municipal and county levels. And I Your hope that uh, when you are making decisions, you can render more support in the last mile and lay a solid foundation because for implementation of a certain policy. The last mile is of critical importance. So please, mayors and uh, secretaries of counties and uh, cities, please give us more support. Thank you.